14,000 women and children have been followed since before the children were born to the present day. One of the topics the researchers looked at was how much oily fish the women ate whilst they were pregnant and breastfeeding. The researchers claim the impact on the children was dramatic. What we found was that mothers who hadn't eaten oily fish when they were pregnant had children whose vision was slightly less developed at the age of about three than mothers who had eaten oily fish when they were pregnant. And similar results were found looking at the child's language development in early childhood. Women who hadn't eaten oily fish in pregnancy had children who were using slightly fewer words than women who had eaten oily fish. Mothers who ate oily fish four or more times a week had children who scored slightly higher in comprehension tests when they were a year and a half and had better vision at age three and a half than mothers who had not eaten fish. Studies have revealed that omega-3 is vital for the fetus to develop its brain. This could explain the scientists' findings that oily fish is important for pregnant women. But in spite of the huge numbers of women and children involved in the study, some disagree with the suggestion that vegetarian mothers have disadvantaged children. Tom Sanders has questioned the methodology and the validity of the results. He has spent 30 years studying vegans and vegetarians and has followed their children from pregnancy onwards. I think omega-3 fatty acids have some very interesting pharmacological or, or drug-like effects. And I think over the time I've been working in them, I think it's now recognised they are a class of essential nutrients. Because a little bit of a nutrient is required, it doesn't mean to say that large amounts are automatically going to be better. Uh, but they do have some potential for therapeutic uses, but it doesn't mean to say everybody should be going out and gulping down large amounts of omega-3 fatty acids. 